pretty much here. We're going to go inside and check out the hottest festival wear you'll ever feast your eyes on. Come with me. Twigs Burnett. Hi, hello. Please tell me that's your real name. Yes, that's my real name. So you were christened Twigs? Well, I was never christened, babe. <laughs> Oh, look at us looking fabulous. <laughs> Can you just tell me a little bit about your brand? It's a collection of costume, headdresses, alternative streetwear and festival wear, kind of everything. So with a name like that, you had to get into this kind of elaborate fashion, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, well, um, I'm a stylist, yeah. so I kind of style as I look. So anything bright and colourful and weird and wonderful down the rabbit hole, you'll generally find me down there. <laughs> These kind of headdresses, when you wear them, you just feel a million dollars. I feel like I just want to walk down the street owning it. Yeah, they're pretty epic. I have actually worn mine out a couple of times on a night out, not just in, like, not just at festivals, and yeah, not it's just pretty. Like, yeah. Just, just down the local. <laughs> not that far. Maybe like on a club night out, but yeah. Have you ever worn it to the Jolly Butcher for Sunday roast? No, no, but I should try that. <laughs> I, I made these. We're in this glitter badger. These are the glitter badger, which I made, and then the one on the the Afro model is uh, made to order for a video shoot that's coming out for Alice Ella and she's a fantastic singer just like putting things on people's heads basically so ask away and I'll try and make it for you Lily, where's she wondering? oh dear, well you know she could possibly tell, a lady never tells she doesn't look very lady like me <laughs> all the people having the most fun are generally wearing a Twix Burnett <laughs> People just sort of, when they wear that one piece of clothing for me, just be like, I look the fucking don. <laughs> You'll always find them like at the front or around the toilets about seven o'clock in the morning dancing to no music, really. <laughs> This is Dion, the Pucky Couture fantastic extraordinaire. Uh, so darling, how has the pop-up first evening gone? We had people waiting outside before we'd even opened, which was quite nice, yeah. The cl queuing around the block, darling, you know you're on to... They've heard about your see-through panels, babe. Just on the way to Tesco to get some carver, kind of saw some sparkles and went, oh, let's see what's going on, but yeah. So it's what's the name? Uh, my name's Nathan French. You're Nathan French, and is this a Nathan French creation? Yes, it is. It's all made of hair and feathers. How can we find this Nathan French? You'll find it on my website, on my shop at nathanfrench.co.uk. So for people who haven't, um, you know, come across Paku Couture before, uh, can you just wrap it up in a nutshell? Um, basically, really sexy, good quality luxury lycra. That's pretty much what I do. I do other stuff as well, but that's kind of what I'm mostly known for is cat suits and leggings. Well, I know I own one of your beautiful creations. Yeah, you do. It you went down a lot of attention for that one. Yeah. I just cash slipped on for Fashion Week. Yeah, it looks amazing. You invented the side bum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Side yeah. boob last year. Exactly. All about, the side bump. All about the side bump. It is, and the thing is as well. I think sometimes a, a lot of women can be quite shy of their bum and think that it's a bad thing to have a big bum. Where I'm like, it's a, it's a family trait in our family. So like, yeah. are you all full bootied ladies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Oh look at you. Is it too much? Never. Mm, it's a little bit it's OTT. You know me. I like to play it safe. Would you? Would you rock that in Newport? I would definitely, I did rock this in Newport Bay. <laughs> so you go to festivals with all these tools up with all this glitter and stuff and make people look like, fabulous. And also have fun. It's a pretty fantastic shop, only fills on peacocks. Uh, talk me through the name. I mean, I know why it's called that, but yeah. wh 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 why is it? Uh, because um, Claire and I were trying to make ends meet, and I was uh, flogging electronic cigarettes at <laughs> Cash and Carry. Uh, on the M25. Is this a true story? Uh, totally true. Oh. And they'd taken over my front room, and my flatmate's boyfriend came in. We'd been trying to think of a name, everything was naff. And he walked in and he was like, oh, it's like fucking uh, Steptoe in time and in here. And someone's like, oh no, more like Only Fools and Horses. And then uh, my flatmate was like, Only Fools and Peacocks. And then 
Done. But the Peacock's bit comes from? Uh, it's my surname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to throw that bit in there. Yeah, no, I have to add that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just sounds like a random thing you like went with that. So, only. <laughs> no, it's our surname. Our surname. It's me and my sister. Wheeling and dealing. East Sigs up the M25. You're like, right, only feels like Peacock's. Yeah, it's exactly. It's history. And now look at this girl. It's exactly how it happened, yeah. Do you make them all yourself or have you got a minion? I have an assistant, but we make everything ourselves. So you do look fabulous. I mean, I'm sold just by the look in your eye. <laughs> Fabulous shop has had a little, uh, you know, takeover tonight. It has. A pop-up extraordinaire. How, how did it go? Yeah, I think it went well. Like, they've made the, all their stuff's made the shop look really nice. Sparkly, pretty. So it's most of the stuff in your shop, like, appropriate for, you know, yeah, a first happen date. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, a few of them could be a bit inappropriate, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I want people to realise that you don't have to be a certain shape or size. Facing or body. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're all different and you should embrace that. You shouldn't feel that you have to be one certain way because that's not real. I like the vibe of your message and I love your clothes. Thank you for chatting to us. Well, that's our festival get up sorted. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting like. And if you want to know anything about the designers you've seen tonight, it's all on the blog. Thank you, and see you next week. Over and out. We're going dancing. Bring around the rivers, let the damned water beat. There's some people down the way that's thirsty.